All right. Okay, let's do this. All right, so I just got back from Adobe Max and uh, yeah, we did the keynote. Ooh, I'm still trying to process it. Basically, your girl just made the biggest speech of her entire career. And in today's video, we gonna talk about it. Okay, let's start off with what is Adobe Max. So Adobe Max is Adobe's annual creativity conference where they launch new features and we hear from um, industry, professionals giving like inspiration and stuff and there's a bunch of sessions and classes that people can take it's just a good time because everything is just centered around creativity content creation graphic design video editing like all the creativity stuff happening in one place and this year i was so blessed and honored to be one of the keynote speakers this year to represent adobe express and to show off the features and the whole experience was just a wild ride i've never done anything like this i've spoken at a ton of events before but this was different. So the beginning of this process, or at least when they started folding in the demoers, definitely happened around like mid-July-ish. I was just coming back from DC. So <laughs> that's kind of where we started the creation process of this. And for a while it was mainly virtual rehearsals. And I think we met like once in San Francisco, but throughout the first month, we were just really spitting ideas out there. The first ideation of the demo was to put on a fictional music festival because there was lots of colors, lots of elements. But I remember one meeting, we decided as a collective that we would do boba because it was super fun, approachable. People generally liked boba. So that's what we went with. All right, so today is the first day of in-person Max Kino rehearsals and I'm so excited, but I'm also really, really nervous because Personally, I still don't know the content quite yet. And you know, we, we still have, it's July, Max is in October, so I still have some time. Um, and like people have been telling me, the content will be changing a ton. So I'm not really worried, but in terms of like presenting in front of the other speakers, in front of my director, like it's just, it's getting real. And I think that's the part that's like freaking me out the most throughout this process, but I know it's gonna be fun. I also know it's gonna be grueling. Thanks, Paul. So as the marketer, I am in charge of all of the marketing content for our boba shop. I don't have to worry about the design. And it has everything from the logos, the colors, the fonts, even down to the graphics and templates. All right, fam, we did it. Day three of we Max rehearsal. Yes! 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 Surge, yeah! Just, just yeah, <laughs> we did it. Uh, I can't believe I'm gonna be doing part of the Adobe Express keynote at Max. This is huge. <laughs> oh man. All right, so moving into August, we had more of a concept and a flow down. We knew that Paul was going to make a project in Illustrator and then pass it off to me and then I would edit it a little bit and then resize it and then post it to social media. So we knew the flow. The second part, the AI part that I ended up doing in the final keynote wasn't written in yet. Um, I had a little bit of a hard time in August because I was juggling a few more events. That's the thing with the keynote is that I had to cancel all of my travel and events for the next few months up until max because rehearsals were mandatory for the most part and you know it was just something that needed more of my attention and so i had my very last event it was the creative retreat in la i remembered having such a bad week i was not present in either spaces and it just it just ate Oh, sorry. It just ate away at me for the longest time. I just felt like I was splitting my time and not giving 100% to either thing. I actually cried <laughs> backstage because I was just so frustrated with myself. Like I just, ugh. It was a really rough month because we would constantly get feedback. We'd implement it in the project. I'd represent it and then something else wouldn't be right. And then I had to take the feedback, rework the project again do it again <laughs> and then you know it was just a constant cycle so I just remember August being really rough and we had our very first executive meeting in SF it was so 
nerve-wracking so nerve-wracking because it's the first time we've done the demo for anybody and overall the executive team who were there really liked the demo i just remember the feedback being like adobe express looked great however the team wanted to see more of the capabilities because essentially we just showed the basic features what you could do so the team wanted to add to the end of my part kind of little vignettes of different features that you could do not connected to the story but just individual things and just like list them off of cool cool stuff that you could do and with that feedback back to the drawing board <laughs> okay so i haven't really talked about this but this is kind of what the project's looking like right now and it's changed so much so i have this cat i'm gonna remove the background on uh text effects going here and then i pretty much jump to text a template which is a new feature that I'm just gonna pop in a prompt here and then it'll generate. I'm showing this now because I'm pretty sure the actual keynote will be very different <laughs> from this. So yeah, and I'm just going to study the flow. It's been a minute since I said these the script, um, but we're gonna try our best. I was just throwing stuff. I was like, you know, here's some cool things you can do. And then eventually, I think after a week of doing that, the vignettes all together get scrapped. <laughs> the whole thing just goes out the window. And so we're just like, ah, okay. So it's a start over again. And I think at this point when the vignettes got scrapped, that's when text to template took its place. I believe if I'm remembering this correctly, that's when text to template happened. Oh, and then I forgot to mention Paul, Danielle and I were working with Lisa McCormick to create the Boba Bear brand identity, which was the asset we use. Um, that one also had a couple of changes too. Like we wanted to do a space theme and then it was a beach theme and then it was a whatever theme. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. We had cute bears, we had buff bears. Like there was, there, were, there was quite a bit of changes on that front too. So now comes September. Then we had our second executive meeting in San Jose, literally with all the execs. Whoo! That was a day. Hi friends, so we are pretty much almost halfway through September. We are rehearsing in San Jose today for the Adobe Max keynote and I'm so excited but also really kind of nervous um, because we're gonna be practicing with Scott Belsky for like two days. We're gonna see Ashley, um, just all executives. Um, and I have an event on Wednesday, which is pretty, I, d uh, I just, I'm excited to do the event, don't get me wrong, but it's also a little bit adding to my stress, just a little bit, but I think after, if I, as long as I get through tomorrow, I'll be okay. But yeah, today's a nice day. It's been a minute since I went to the San Jose office, but. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna practice and listen to planes. And Paul is practicing. Look at him go. We are taking a break. <laughs> How you feeling, Paul? Ah, I'm feeling fantastic. I'm in the boardroom. B O R E D. Not the boardroom. Just kidding. Just joking. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be. It's getting real. I'm just trying to keep it lighthearted since everybody's getting more nervous. Yeah. <laughs> We were literally there till like 8 p.m. at night. It was it was insane. So we were all in the Founders Tower in this boardroom. It was just a long table with screens. There's screens over like in front of the room. There's screens on the front ends of the table. We're all looking at each other. We were all pretty nervous. Like all of our demos were solid. And at this point, I already had text to template and translate already in. And although I was confident, Gen AI is still very unpredictable. And if you watch the keynote almost every single demo had some sort of gen ai in it and oh this was the day out of all days this was the day that firefly decided to break <laughs> um <laughs> everyone's generation was really weird <laughs> like we were getting weird results the whole day um but <laughs> 
Man, I remember it hit my demo the most. It was working pretty good the entire day. And then when it came to that specific demo, it gave me the most unpredictable results. And I was like, Ugh. died a little bit on the inside. I, I just was like, of course, uh, of course this would happen. But it's okay because everyone's demo that day had something a little funky going on. And luckily the feedback was actually pretty minimal for a lot of the demos. I was just happy that I didn't have to start completely over. And it was a win. Seeing Shantanu in person for the first time and not like over an all hands meeting was also pretty cool. So I don't know, I was just like, Wow. And, and he sat across from me from the boardroom, which I was also equally freaking out. That was also the day that I really reflected on my career. I was feeling really emotional that day because first of all, we were at the top of the Founders Tower and I was like looking at the bottom and I was just remembering how seven years ago I was job searching and I got out of Deer Dawn Station and walked to all my job interviews. I didn't have a car yet. I walked past the Adobe building and I just remember being like one day, I will be up there, I will work for you, Adobe, or a company just like you because I'm not a designer, so why would you hire me anyways? And to now just be at the top of Founders Tower presenting to the executive team and the CEO, him actually hearing my voice, saying my name and stuff. I just had that epiphany moment that day that holy shit, seven years ago, I never thought that I'd literally be up there. <laughs> but yeah, it was a really incredible day, not just for myself, but for all the other demoers and just everyone on the Max team. It was intense, but it was, it was really nice. So after that day, it was back to work. We were back in San Francisco the next day and the following week, it was just implementing the feedback and then, you know, fine tuning all this stuff. Pretty much the last week of September and the first week of October, the demos were already solid. I was using a Chromebook for my demo, which I've never used before, but it was pretty, it was pretty sweet. I really liked it. All right, we made it. <laughs> okay, so it's the first day of the last week of rehearsals for Adobe Max, and the intensity has just been kicked up a notch, if I may say so myself. Um, not only just the sheer nervousness of everything just, you know, settling in is getting real. A lot of things are not going well. <laughs> a lot of things are uh, are crazy right now. Uh, I record my backup videos tomorrow and I get to demo tomorrow. So TikTok made it on the scheduler and Translate is on the live version that I'll be demoing. So I'm excited. I'm so excited. We're almost there, almost there. Text the template just needs one little final push over the edge and then we'll be good to go. And then it's just practice, practice, practice. So. We're in the final home stretch. The other demos are looking pretty good. A couple of us also are having tech issues. Kelly with Firefly, um, we're still figuring out that demo. And Dacia is doing the video demo and some stuff is happening with her footage and her projects. Little bugs here and there. Anna is still getting crumpled butterflies. So we're so close, guys, we're so close. Um, but we're just working out all the kinks, all the small bugs and stuff. Again, it's only Monday. We'll just have to see how the rest of the week goes, so. Ooh, okay. For myself, it was just a sprint to get everything off builds and into the live product. So I was just working with the engineers and a couple of the team members to, you know, work out any bugs, any kinks, test out things and get everything into the max build. That I've never done before. I personally thought it was a pretty cool process to see how quickly things were able to be programmed, fixed, how quick things were able to be broken, choosing the templates for like the initial screen so that's bright and colorful. Talking to all these people, working with the scheduler team, the translate team, it was just really, really nice. I've never coordinated anything like that before and from my own personal experience, they could they could possibly hated me. I thought it was really cool because it just felt like different parts of a project coming together. By the time I was on the plane to LA, everything just figured itself out and everything was solid. And then came the week of Max. And that week, 
passed by so quickly. I arrived Sunday, I was chilling, pretty much my free day. Monday, we had all day rehearsals from like 8 a.m. to like 8 p.m. with some people like being released in between. Paul and I were released around three o'clock, but we had to stay within the vicinity just in case, you know, anything happens and we're called back. So we didn't really truly get released till like around seven, eight o'clock. But yeah, the rehearsal was super cool. I've never been inside the Peacock Theater from the backstage. I've always just been part of the crowd just enjoying the show so to be backstage my mind was blown it was like a full-on battle station back there there were so many different computers and sections people powering different parts of like the live broadcast the lights people who like change the screens and stuff like there was so many people so many stations back there and I'm pretty sure I didn't even see all of them and then of course where I got to hang out with all of my other co-workers is called demo land we were able to like sit our stuff down and then off to the side was our demo machines just all lined up in order and we had different screens around us to, just so we could see what's going on all right hello friends it is the next day and it is also rehearsals for the keynote I'm just I'm I'm so nervous the stage is so big the backstage is really big and yeah it's just it's gonna be a really long day but i think it's gonna go by so quickly it's getting real tomorrow's the day oh this is awesome put it in a photograph put it in a photograph oh. look over here look over here look at me look what i can do look what i can do well, Kelly, Kelly, put it in a photograph. I'm so nervous. It's mine and Pa's turn next. social content, banners, flyers, videos, pretty much all the things. And load in there. From there, we can go back into Express. Let's take a look at it. Open this up. What's up, friends? So it is a little bit later in the day now, and I am so exhausted. So I actually went to go take a nap. Um, we got released at 2.30 or like 3 o'clock, which is wild because I thought we were going to be here the whole day. I literally just got two rehearsals and then like, that was it. They are like, we're good. We're done. And I'm freaking out. <laughs> I'm freaking out that I, it didn't take more than that. So I got back to the hotel room, knocked out immediately, and then I woke up and my face felt so greasy and stuff so i just had to take off my makeup and um but i gotta start thinking about dinner um and then i also have pins to assemble because i'm gonna be giving out pins for each day at max but yeah i'm really excited oh i still gotta paint my nails so it's just gonna be an easy night in right now um i'm chilling <laughs> yeah i think that's the plan for the rest of the day so i think i'm gonna start working on the pins no 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 I need to work on something for schedule. I need to clean up my content scheduler because it's looking a little messy uh, when I was demoing. Yeah, overall the rehearsal went so well. It was actually mind boggling to see the entire battleship that was going on backstage, like computers, different stations. Oh my gosh, like wardrobe and makeup and like just, there's just so much that was going on. It's crazy. Um, I was definitely super nervous. Um, the begin in the beginning, but then I got it, and then the second time there was a little bit of tech difficulties here and there. Um, I found a little a little glitch with the Chromebooks. I don't know what's going on. I tested it out on my MacBook, and it didn't do that. So I really think it's like a Chromebook issue. So just gonna have to roll with it, and then yeah. 
see what happens. But it was so much fun. We got to see some of the community leaders come in because they got a little tour of the backstage and all that. And it was, it was really nice. It was really nice to see people and everyone's starting to post stories of them at Max. And yeah, it's just, it's gonna be a really good Max. I can feel it. All right, so I changed into warmer clothes. Um, and this is kind of the situation we're dealing with right now. I have these cards that are separated. They all have, um, they all need to be signed in the back. And then I need to put these on signed cards, which I already did. But I think I'm gonna have to take a little break from this, do some dinner um, with my team beforehand. And then I'm gonna end the night with painting these bad boys. Yeah, so we have a packed agenda for tonight. Um, so I know I'm supposed to sleep early, but you know, that never happens. Like ever. <laughs> but we have a call time at seven o'clock and not six. So I'll only be half dead as I usually am. <laughs> so, all right, let's do this. But yeah, so that was Monday. Only two rehearsals and that's it. Then came the day of the event. And surprisingly, I wasn't as nervous as I thought I'd be. I really thought I'd be shitting bricks like the whole time and like have my chest be like really tight or have that sinking gut feeling. But I didn't have any of that. I actually had it more during the rehearsals thinking about the day of the keynote. But the actual day of the keynote, I was chilling. We were good. Okay, so this part is definitely not part of the keynote process, but it was a really fun story. Okay, so I was getting my makeup and hair done, and then next to me, Shantanu sits down in the chair, and he gets a full-on haircut, like a little trim, and I'm just like, damn, man. So in the earlier weeks, we had to help social film some videos. One of those videos was called Low Stakes Bets. So basically, is if something happens at Max, then I have to do something. So I chose the easiest bet possible where I'd lose, and that is if Shantanu wears a quarter zip, I had to go up to the man and ask him where he got it so that we could be twinsies. And lo and behold, the moment, the opportunity presented itself, the man sits next to me in the makeup chair as he's getting his hair done. I look at him and I'm like, hey, Shantanu. <laughs> Ah! So, okay, I didn't say it like that, but I just like, oh my God, Shantini, are you excited? He goes, yes. And then I look at him and say, so I have a little bit of a request. And he looks at me so unsure. And I don't know what I'm gonna say, but I pretty much said, you know, I have this project that I'm doing with the social team and it was the low stakes bets. And he freaking laughed. The man laughed and was just like, LOL, like you're gonna lose that. Of course, like that's the worst bet I could have possibly made. He said, I think it's a uh, insert fancy name brand that I can't pronounce here, but he wasn't sure. And then so I was like, okay, I'll remember it. I totally forgot what it was. So he ends up leaving the room and I'm like, okay, well, you know, I'll just find a dude from Target, it's fine. And he comes back and he's just like, wait, I think it's actually Xenia. And I was just like, Xenia, that's that's a cool brand name. And he was like, but yeah, I'm not sure. And then this man like pulls out the tag and he says, here, look at it. What does it say? And I was just like, my ass goes, what is Zegna? <sighs> and then it like processed in my brain that the G is the Ny sound. So I was like, oh yes, it is Zenya. And then Scott behind me goes, oh yeah, that's a Zenya sweater. Like I can tell from a mile away. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, totally do that. I totally do that. But then <laughs> Shantanu says, yeah, it's Zenya. But he said, but don't get it. Like he told me not to get it. And at first I thought this man like didn't want to match me. And I was just like, no, why not? I'll get it. Why not? Oh my God. I looked up this man's sweater and it has I looked up this man's sweater on the Xenia website and yeah, I'm not getting that sweater. <laughs> I'm going to my favorite brand, Target, and getting a lookalike. It was cool though. Now I know a brand named Xenia that makes really expensive luxury clothes for men. Yes, this one. Yes, I usually do like the base on this one. <laughs> The makeup's done. Hi, Kelly. Hello. And then Dacia's right here. Dacia is such a diva. Girl, do what you want. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Final look. Back. You're like, okay. So, so then once you say that to me, I'm gonna kind of turn to the audience and be like, well, you know this with every creative. All right.
right, moving on. So after that exchange, I get dressed, I get ready, we're chilling. All the demoers are in this room that had breakfast and stuff, and we're kind of just rolling through our demos in our heads. And then they call us up backstage to get ready. So we're all chilling in demo land, and then all of a sudden, the lights go up, and Photograph by Astronaut Club, put it in a photograph, starts playing. And that's when we knew it's showtime. All right, guys, it is about 15 minutes until showtime. I'm so excited. I'm all ready and um, I'm pretty nervous. I'm pretty nervous, but it's gonna be super fun. There's gonna be good vibes. And yeah, I'm just, I'm so excited. It's gonna be amazing vibes. Yes, it's amazing, amazing vibes. vibes. <laughs> So one by one, as our parts started going up, we got touch-ups, we waited backstage. It was just a process. We were cheering each other on backstage. And then after Dacia went, ooh, Adobe Express was up next. It just all happened so fast. They took Paul first. He was demoing first. And then shortly after, I got called to my station. I had my phone. I was taking stories. Um, I was taking some backstage footage for y'all. And then they confiscated my phone. We're almost there, guys. We got this. I'm so excited. We're set. <laughs> Scott Belsky went out, did his thing, and then I thought I had like a minute or something, but I had two seconds because within that time, the stage manager was just like, okay, go, like you're up, get out there. And I was like, oh God. And I just start walking. Scott says my name. He goes, Katrina, who's right over there. I'm not even at the podium yet. They put the lights on me and I'm like, oh, hi. <laughs> Luckily, they didn't catch it on the replay, but definitely the live audience saw that, my awkward walk up to the podium. So when I stopped, took a breath, and looked down to the audience, Scott was still talking. It really, really settled in that I was on stage. There was no going back. I took a deep breath. I switched my persona into demoer, bad bitch, my Beyonce <laughs> uh, version of me, and I just spoke. We just did it and absolutely crushed it. I'll introduce Translate, now available in Adobe Express, and now you can translate your project into over 40 different languages. And then after all the demos happened, all the speeches happened after, we were done. I never had to say my demo ever again after that. It was such a good feeling being done hugging all my fellow demoers on stage, seeing all the execs come out after the show, seeing the Adobe advisory board, I think that's what they're called, but the, the board members come out and congratulate us all, saying how amazing it was. You know, all the praise, all the praise, all the love, and we took a group photo with just the demoers and then with all the execs and the board members and the team, and it was just, amazing it just felt like a big weight was lifted off of a ton of people's shoulders and it was really good afterward i just sat in my hotel room and just had to process everything that happened because everything just happened so fast <sighs> all right we did it we freaking did it <laughs> oh my god i am just so i'm just processing right now i'm just sitting alone in my hotel room in the quiet responding to everyone's social posts um and messages and it's just i'm just so jazzed that we did it it's done god i can't believe we just did that holy shit 
<laughs> Everything went so smoothly. I was a little bit nervous, but I was more excited. Saw all my friends out in the audience and people were cheering. It was amazing. And I'm just, I'm just so excited and just so proud of myself because I never thought this would happen. This is my fifth max. Five years ago, did not know I was going to be on this stage, though I damn well did manifest it. I just always reflect on this journey and I'm such, I'm, I'm such a little sad because I'm, I'm just so sentimental of everything. Like, I just remember five years ago sitting in the audience just being like, I could totally do this, you know? Like, I didn't think it was going to happen in a million years at the time, but we did it five years later and we made it through and we're there. And I really think I'm one of the first people, one of the first demoers that is not a pro designer. It's just wild. Um, but yeah, I just, I had everything. I had my create, give and inspire bracelet from NTS bracelets, which is my brand mantra. And it just, I had my demo with Emma, said a lot of inside jokes and just, it was, it was amazing. And I feel really good about it. And I feel like I really represented the community well. I really hope that it just opens more doors for more people to join the keynote that look like me, have a similar design background as me. And you know, just, have the same opportunities because that's that's really all I want. This was so cool. It's such a great experience and I'm gonna remember it forever. All I knew in that hotel room was I was so tired. I just spoke in front of thousands of people. I'm really hungry and I gotta post something on social after my keynote to commemorate the talk. Yeah, I think I only ate barbecue kettle chips that day and some mini Oreos. After the keynote, I came to hang out with folks in the community and everyone talked about how great the demos were, gave me hugs. Honestly, this was probably one of the best parts of this keynote besides working with amazing creatives on the demo pieces. This part, seeing the community reactions, hearing the feedback, and like seeing people that I've only seen online for so long. And I've also even heard the feedback that people loved seeing a Filipino on stage or Southeast Asian and a woman on that stage because it doesn't happen often. So I definitely got a lot of shout outs and hugs from my fellow Filipino designers and creatives. I was definitely reminded of how important and impactful it is to have representation on that stage. I'm just really grateful that for my fifth max, I earned the opportunity to represent the communities that I came from. It's such a big deal and a huge privilege and opportunity to have this voice, this spot on stage. And I just really felt the love not only from the folks who attended Max in person, but for everyone who attended virtually as well. It was just crazy. My family was watching, people from the Adobe Awards community that I served when I first got to Adobe watched and were super proud of me. Um, ambassadors. In that moment, I knew and felt that I did something. And throughout this entire keynote process, like I knew it was going to be amazing, that this was a, an amazing opportunity, that I was going to be representing a lot of different communities. But being there, ooh, but actually being there, seeing the faces, hearing from the people, responding to DMs, that's really when I felt that all of my hard work has paid off. Not just all the hard work from the keynote, but just from years past, even pre-Adobe. But just seeing the community and hearing from all of you just made it worth it. But yeah, I say this after every event and every speaking engagement, that like getting to meet the community and all of you, hearing all your pain points and hearing what inspires you, what keeps you going, hearing that I inspire you, is really what makes this job amazing and worthwhile. And I say this all the time, but I'm just so grateful and I don't take any of this experience for granted. And yeah, I truly am living my dream career and a large part of it is because of your support and that y'all truly believed that I could do this. And it's just so wild 
to think about that. So that's the story of the keynote and a little bit of a tangent. <laughs> Overall, it was just such a cool experience and definitely a really huge milestone in my career. But we'll see if we get invited back next year. But if we do, that would be awesome. It's because of y'all. Thank you so much for watching my videos, whether you've just subscribed or followed me on Instagram. Um, or if you've been with me since the very beginning, I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. And hopefully this story has inspired you in some way or another. I can't wait to see what you all do, the amazing things that you create, the goals that you accomplish, and all the other people that you will inspire with your journey. But with that, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!